been a long time since I played pinball. I play it every time I'm here. Do you? Is this your favorite thing to do at the terminal? Where'd you grow up? Maine. Maine? Florida, North Carolina, military brat. Oh, okay. Tennessee. What branch? My dad was in the Coast Guard. Okay. Was that good for you? You felt? Oh, it sucked. Always being up. the new kid. I was, that, you're not going to believe this, but I was very shy growing up and I didn't talk to anybody. Well, so I, I would say that maybe that helped you because you had to make new friends everywhere. I, got, I was the kid that got picked on. Oh, really? Oh, I got bullied so bad in school. But kids noticed I was very, 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 very shy. Right. And I also ended up going into foster care at 14 years old. Okay. So I was shy and abused, and kids just pick up on something different. So how did you get into trucking? <laughs> this is the funny part. My first driver's license of any type, car, truck, whatever, was at 40 years old. Really? Yeah, I didn't drive anything until I was 40 years old. And then two years later, I got my CDLs. That's amazing. But as a truck driver, Knight's been my only company, and I got my million miles in seven years, seven months. Mama gets it. So you said you had some kids. How many, how many kids do you have? One brat and one grand brat. Okay. <laughs> and uh, they live in Idaho. My daughter lives in Idaho. If it wasn't for the money I made with Knight, I wouldn't have had the money to help her, support her financially while she went through school. She's a single mom. Yeah. She is a respiratory therapist. She makes $38 an hour. Good and for her. I mean, That's awesome. I can remember literally when I first left my husband, not a, bad, not a good situation, I can remember living in my car with my daughter. Wow. And going behind like Dunkin' Donuts and stuff like that at the end of the day when they throw all their food out and digging in the trash to feed my kids. Wow, Cynthia. So I went from living in a car to doing Christmas Cancun vacations. Yeah, what a story. So what do you attribute your success to? I used every available program that was out there. So all the resources. And every resources, and it was a hand up, not a hand out. This is one of the blessings Knight has given me that Knight doesn't even know about. When I do, um, layovers and different resets, yeah. I go to the local battered women's shelter and I tell my story. Knight gave me a chance, you know? There's that loyalty and that, that respect in that family. And, you know, most people know me. Yeah, well. Because I'm insane. What a story. <laughs> Should we go play some pinball? Let's go play pinball. And then I went. <laughs> Rookie. I'm a rookie. Are you a Star Wars fan? No, I just like pinball. What's happening right now? You got the bonus. You got it in there. It'll kick it back out. Shoot the fighter. So you said you had two dogs? Yes. One's a service dog. I'm a diabetic. The something in your breath that they can tell if my sugar oh, gets really? low. Oh, really? Yeah. What, is, what does he do when he knows your sugar's low? Barks at me. <laughs> <laughs> 